they have a point. It does seem unfair in that sense. But once a minimum of six added minutes has been shown, you have to play them. Explain that patiently to the players and tell them you have done everything in your power to cancel out the effects of the time wasting. Now it's up to them to protect their lead. Welcome back to The Ref Show with special guest Ian Dowie uh, joining Keith Hackett. We haven't quite uh, resolved the grappling issue yet. We're going to kick that around some more and hold and pull and wrestle and whatever. We're also going to talk about what's acceptable banter between players and referees in an environment that does have industrial language, let's uh, face it. And that follows a complaint from the Doncaster Rovers manager, Darren Ferguson, about a referee over the weekend. But uh, just to top and tail on grappling, got a, 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 an area, a subject area here, more goals, question mark, with the kind of stance that referees are taking at the moment. Yeah. Do you feel that? Yeah, I do. I mean, listen, I, I, of course there'll be more goals, yeah, because, but, I, but do I sense do I sense that teams defend as well as they did because of that? No. I mean, I see you see scores that I would never have seen. Are I've, they going to have to learn to defend? Yeah, no, absolutely. But I'm, so I'm going to, but I'm going to adapt my skill set. Yeah. If I got back in tomorrow, I will adapt a way to try and know what the rules are and work within them. Keith, you, you, prefer, well, uh, you prefer to zonal marking now, rather. Than well, I think there's some clubs that have done that, and some clubs are suffering by it. Uh, City I, 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 well, we saw Stoke, at Stoke City a, a yeah. couple of weeks ago. The yeah. Goals were being scored and the defenders were looking yeah. around because it's a different skill set that they've got to learn. Yeah. But uh, I think, again, if referees are going to do this and if this is a so-called clampdown and Mike Dean was leading it, then other referees have got to follow suit. My, my complaint generally is a lack of consistency. Therefore, if they're going to, if they're going to do it, do it on a level so that all referees are consistent, not just one coming out of the blue and surprising everybody. Mike Dean did that. He surprised even me. And I'm a, I'm a guy who says, look, let's try and get some normality in it. Yeah. There are other referees who are still allowing it to happen. And, and that is a problem. It's not good for the manager. It's not good yeah. for the <laughs> As a manager, you don't know how to plan. What, you have to study the referee. Does he punish it or yeah, not? Yeah, correct. I think, yeah. you know, if, you, if you've got Mike Dean now, you're thinking, yeah. So my view is, I don't mind what Keith's saying, actually. I think some part of it, definitely, I think the, the over grappling. Mm. But I do think, I'll go back to the short cross rod, it's completely soft. I mean, there's very little in it. In my view is you'd give, you'd, give ten, you'd give 15 penalties a game if you've seen that. You've got to start somewhere, though. Ian. No, no, I understand that, but there's got to be a level, isn't there? I, don't, what I'm, I think Keith would agree. They, it, it, not, if you're going to say, right, you cannot grab anyone, I think you're going to have a, you give yourself a whole heap of problems. My view is, and I'm not right or wrong because I'm not the rule maker, and Keith knows it more better than I do, but I think a degree of, if, 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 if I run and I grab Keith and we get that, yeah. and he pull him, I pull him back, that's a penalty. But it has gone too far, surely. We don't, fans do not pay to go and see guys wrestle each other, do they? Uh, football was what Keith we, said. We, Well, listen, uh, is there much difference when the ball came up to my feet and the defenders behind me? Maybe. There's a lot of that goes on. Yes. Yeah. Loads of it, it doesn't get fouled. Yeah. So you grab me, he grabs me, and I head the ball. That's not considered it. Because it's in the yeah. penalty box, yes, it needs to change because there was a period where you've got opposition not looking at the ball and all them things. And, and, mm. and I'm not talking about that's not a penalty. That is a penalty. But I said there's, there's, the, the, there's a grey area. There's no doubt. You can't no. say there isn't. No, but you're a striker. You were a striker. Come on, if Mike Dean and company were around, had been around in your day yeah. doing this, You'd have scored more goals from corners. Yeah, I done, you? but then, to be really fair, goal scoring was never my forte, I suppose. So, <laughs> but you know, my view is, I, I, I'm a coach. My coach is my biggest love, and if you know, if I'm coaching a team, I believe I believe in good defenders, and I think some of the some of the defensive arts will be removed from the game because of this. Some of the defensive arts, but you're saying some of the defensive arts, the traditional defensive arts, will be restored to the game. Are you not? Yes, I am. But I think at the same time, here's a gap that exists because I'm listening to Ian. I respect Ian a lot, and I think that it shows to me that where in certain parts of the world referees go in and talk yeah. to players, I think this is lacking in this country. I would like to see more referees have debate with people like Ian, because that's how we both learn. Yeah. We, we disagree on fundamentally, but I, there's a meeting point which says, look, this is what's good for the game. The harshness of somebody wrapping round and dragging and yeah. pulling is not acceptable. Ian's accepted yeah. that, and I believe that should be punished. But great. there is a balance, Just because they don't want the, the spectators don't want to be seen in the referee. Point. Okay. Mourinho said something a little while ago. Mm. Unless we learned, unless in England, 
or you know, Britain, they learn to dive, they'll never win a World Cup. Okay? Now, I'm telling you, I played in some He's right. Spain 1 0 up. I'm using Spain, it could be anywhere. Spain 1 0 up, and I go and ch ch go be a challenge. He goes to the ground. It's a foul. That's, and there's 20 of them. 20 minutes gone in the game, you lost the game 1 0. It, you know, the, we've got to be careful of what, what we look at. Because we, we, it, no, it's not, well, it's not dark arts, because no. it's accepted over there. Yeah. It's accepted over there that you just, any touch, you go to ground, it's a foul. Here, it's not accepted. Right. So there's a difference in cultures that we've got to address you as were, well. You were Correct. respected for not being very good at diving. <laughs> oh, you, you I, stayed on you your feet. You couldn't dive. No. You, mean, you would never dive, they laughed at you. Yeah. I, think he, I think Ian's raised a, a, a massive point. There's no doubt the culture of the game in Europe is different. That we see that when we see European players coming into the English game through transfer yeah. system. And they take time to adapt. First of all, they take time with the speed and pace of the game, but also the culture. Yeah. And, and sometimes they're surprised. And then we're, we're seeing the, the, the incidents of players going down for it. Thierry, Costa, there's a few players in there. But there's always been players that have been willing to go to ground. Franny Lee, in my day, <laughs> way back, was, was a serial diver. He used to win the penalty and score it himself. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Ian, it's been, it's been a great sport coming in and, 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 and arguing the toss here with Keith, and it's been, I hope, very entertaining for you as well. Uh, talking about being a good sport, now there's always going to be a level of verbal interaction, mm -hmm. let's call it, between referees and players on the field. It's not the first time this complaint has been levelled, but it's the first time since the crackdown on dissent was introduced this season with the yellow cards, which is already in the laws. I watched Doncaster 3, Barnet 2 on Saturday. Good game. Oh, exciting game. Last gasp winner yeah. from uh, Andy Williams. And the last thing you're really thinking about is the referee's going to be the centre of the story, even though it's our old friend Trevor Kettle, who's got a very controversial reputation. But Darren Ferguson brought him into the story, the, the Rovers boss, by complaining about his quotes, behaviour and language, and uh, saying that he couldn't tolerate the language that had been used towards his players, and if it had been the other way around, it would have been a red card. Now, we don't know what was said. We don't know the inside details of this. What's your gut feeling uh, on hearing about that? Well, the gut feeling is, I think if he feels that strongly about it, make a report. Let me tell you where I'm coming from. I think in our day, probably, we had a bit of interaction. If I run, if he's made his decision against me, I go, oh, for sake, yeah. okay, and I'm running away. That's different than going, you. Yeah. Now that, that's, that's a yellow card. But me going away and saying, you, not, that's in my opinion. Now, I'm not condoning it, and actually, I wouldn't mind if, it, if you, in terms of how many microphones you hear around the game, it may be a case at the elite level, you get rid of that language, but it's not going to be easy to do. But my view is, if I go up the keep and go, that's, see, that, that's a, and, and, could be, and should be a sending yeah. off because yeah. it's not right. Yeah. What's your uh, look, I, I think that I've always encouraged a, a management process and an interaction with players. Communication mm -hmm. is the real art of a referee. Mm -hmm. It's been able to have a quiet word. Sometimes players, you know, are having a difficult time from fans. Look, look at Rooney with the, in the England team taking some abuse. Now, sometimes I'd run alongside a player like that and say, look, take the nose to him because I'm enjoying how you're playing. And I, and I think this, you know, we're just seeing it as a, a moral sort of, I can swear if I'm in the garden digging or yeah. with a family, but I can't swear in a football field. I don't see that. Get for real. me, get real. for yeah, me, yeah. let's get real. Yeah. Let's have some interaction and stay on the pitch. It stays on the pitch. Yeah. Now, if somebody, as Ian said, is pointing, running at me, having a real go, then I'll deal with it. Mm -hmm. But often, if a player's really getting frustrated because... Some of the decisions I'm giving, he thinks I'm wrong, right? And I'm not arrogant to say that every one I gave is correct. I've, I've then got to take that into account. I've got to understand that there's going to be friction. Players have different personalities. And if players are dishing it out as they do, let's, let's yeah. be fair, they should yeah. be able to take it, shouldn't they? Yeah. 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 Well, well, take it. Now, there is, I mean, that. I mean, Keith wasn't. There is a little slightly another side to this. Mm. The arrogant ref has come into the modern game a little bit. You know, I was talking about Keith Cooper and Keith, you know, and Keith yeah, himself. Yeah, great, great carrot funny could take the mickey out of you and say, by the way, don't blame for me, you want to concentrate on your own game, take the mickey out of it. And you know, you'd laugh. But there's a bit of that, you know, that, that, that if you say something to them, they can whisper yeah. something to you, then you know, yeah, that, that's got to be very careful of. And that's why I think the referee's got to be with, yeah. beyond that. But I, 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 my view is, Yes, 
a referee should be able to say whatever. Marvellous. So, well, we'll, take we'll wrap it up on that. Yeah. They've got to take care in what they say. Yeah, the referee do. needs to be, to some degree, sank or sank. Yeah, he does. But, but at the same time, it doesn't stop him having a communication. Yeah. Okay. And if Darren has got a problem, clearly he has, he should have knocked on the door and sorted it out with the referee. Thanks very much indeed. Ian, it's been a pleasure to host you. I hope Thanks we can right. persuade you to come back I'm at sure some time in the future. Yeah. And thank you to you for watching. I do hope you can rejoin us for another Ref Show next week. We'll see you then. Bye.